Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, occurs in about 15 to 30% of feline patients over 12 years old. This often progressive disease is associated with reduction of kidney function, which affects many different body systems. Although CKD can be devastating, early screening tests now allow us to diagnose the condition earlier, which means we can begin treatment to slow its progression and manage its effects on the body. Varenzin CA1, molytostat oral suspension by Alanco, can be a helpful component of a multimodal treatment plan for cats with CKD by addressing the anemia commonly associated with this condition. Up to 65% of cats develop anemia as CKD progresses. Red blood cell production is driven by the production and release of erythropoietin, or EPO, from the renal EPO-producing cells in the corticomedullary region. EPO is transported to the bone marrow to stimulate the development of red blood cells. This process requires the presence of adequate amounts of iron, which is incorporated into hemoglobin. In feline CKD, one of the key reasons for anemia is a reduced production of EPO by the kidney. But why does this occur? To understand this, we need to focus on blood oxygen levels. EPO production is upregulated at low oxygen levels, or hypoxia, and downregulated at normal oxygen levels, or normoxia. However, in the diseased kidney, the normoxia slash hypoxia balancing pathways can become disrupted, causing an inappropriately low amount of EPO to be produced. A key component to regulation of EPO is a complicated process mediated by a protein complex called hypoxia-inducible factor, or HIF. Under hypoxic conditions, HIF stimulates EPO production. Let's look at how this works. HIF is made up of two subunits called HIF-alpha and HIF-beta. When blood oxygen levels are low, these two subunits combine with one another in a process called dimerization. This dimer, along with other transcriptional factors, binds to the hypoxia response element in the cell's nucleus to induce gene transcription of EPO. HIF-alpha is produced continuously. However, in normoxic conditions, HIF-alpha is hydroxylated by the prolohydroxylase pH enzyme, which allows binding to the von Hippel-Lindau protein, which then targets the complex for degradation in the proteasome. Because it is degraded, HIF-alpha is prevented from dimerizing with HIF-beta. This process helps prevent excess EPO production by the body. However, in CKD, the renal erythropoietin-producing cells fail to produce enough EPO. While the mechanism of this is not fully understood, one possibility is that there are fewer EPO-producing cells. Another theory is that there is a relative hyperoxia in the microenvironment immediately adjacent to the EPO-producing cells, which causes degradation of HIF-alpha. Varenzin CA1 works as a HIF-PH inhibitor and is indicated for the control of non-regenerative anemia associated with chronic kidney disease in cats. By inhibiting prolohydroxylase, HIF-alpha is stabilized and degradation does not occur. This allows HIF-alpha to dimerize with HIF-beta, bind to the hypoxia response element in the nucleus, and induce gene transcription for EPO. An additional benefit of HIF-PH inhibitors like Forenzin is that they have been found to facilitate iron bioavailability. Thus, Forenzin can improve anemia in cats with CKD by stabilizing HIF-alpha, allowing increased endogenous EPO production and improving iron utilization. Multimodal CKD management, including Varenzin CA1, can help affected cats live better, more active lives, so cats and their owners can enjoy more quality time together.